For even more updates on Stephen King's It, The Dark Tower, and The Mist, be sure to check out hybridnetworkyt.com. What's up guys, CJ here. Welcome back to the Hybrid Network and another look into some of the monsters hiding within Stephen King's The Mist, a novella following the trials of a small town that's been overrun by eldritch monsters amidst a blinding mist. And today is a look at one of the more fleeting monsters of the book and the film, the Arachni Lobster. The name basically does a great deal for describing the creature, as it's described in the book as being some sort of cross between an arachnid and a lobster, with bright red skin resembling that of a lobster and a segmented body like like that of a scorpion. In the book, there's not too much to glean beside it possibly looking like a giant lobster, though in the film, its form is a bit more tangible, despite the fact that it's mostly hidden behind a silhouette in the mist. It sits atop six arthropod-like legs, sporting two massive claws that resemble a cross between a lobster and a praying mantis, giving the creature a wider array of movement and an extended reach with which to grab prey in swift motions. Atop its frame is a head filled with needle-like teeth, which it most likely uses to cut into prey and eat in chunks. As for what it could possibly eat, well, that would most likely depend on what it could grab. More likely than not, it would feed on larger prey scuttling about, Terra buzzards most likely, though that would be if it could get its hands on one, and with its tough skin, it seems like Grey Widowers could be in its diet, not being able to do much to it unless they utilize their acidic webbing, though that definitely could be a losing battle for either side. They could even feast on the tentacle creature that attacks the grocery store early on, though no one really knows what these tentacles are attached to, whether it be a creature big or or small. The terapede would most definitely be a part of the monster's diet. It's a large centipede-like creature that appeared in the novella, and the arachni lobster's claws are perfect for gripping the creature and cutting it into pieces for easier consumption. On the other side of the coin, what could it be prey to? Well, the behemoth is one predator, as the arachni lobster would be big enough to grasp with the claws and tentacles hidden on the giant creature's thorax. The kite monster from the original novella could also be a candidate, its size and flight probably giving it an advantage over the earthbound arachni lobster. Though, the lobster's claws could easily hurt the kite monster, perhaps giving an indication that these two might prey on each other. Being carnivorous, it's a creature that's particularly hostile and deadly to boot, not having much opposition in the ecosystem of the mist, save for the larger creatures skulking around New England and proving only one of the many terrifying threats facing the citizens of Bridgeton, Maine. But that'll wrap up this video. Thank you for watching so much, and be sure to stay subscribed to the Hybrid Network to stay up to date on all of our videos as they come out. My name is CJ, and I'll catch you next time.